Hello everybody and welcome to Simulator Gaming and welcome back to another vlog here on Meadow Grove. So if you guys are aware you've been watching uh, this series then you know we haven't actually officially started our farming work just yet. So we're doing something for ourselves again today. We've got a friend uh, David helping us today. He's going to be meeting us down at the lockup. You guys remember the lockup from episode number one? We are basically heading back down there today. We've got the Mercedes pickup truck with our Eiffel Williams trailer on the back. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead down to the lockup right now. We should get there pretty quickly. We're nearly there, actually. Okay, so I seem to have taken the uh, wrong turning back there. We've come from the other direction, so... Okay, you can kind of see... David, you didn't even open the gate for us. Useless. Right, let's quickly indicate into here. So yeah, basically we are cutting down... If you didn't see episode number one, we're cutting down a few trees outside our house because we're going to be building a new shed. We're actually going to be building it ourselves, so it's going to be quite... Uh, Quite a fun little project we've got going on here. So we've brought the pickup truck. Um, so basically David couldn't actually get in to the uh, lockup because I got the keys. So get the handbrake on here. We'll turn it off. Save on some fuel. Oh, hang on. Let's get the gate down there. Or the rear hatch. Rear ramp even. Right, there we go. Here's David. How you doing, bud? Right, so let's go ahead and open this room. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, he can't actually do anything without us. So there's not going to be too much wheel cam today. It's only going to be for the first bit while we're driving around because we're going to be using a lot of uh, like uh, joysticks and stuff. Maybe a bit of keyboard and mouse. So we've rented this cat. This is not ours. We've rented this. You can see we've got the uh, the bucket here. This will become very apparent what that's for pretty soon. Let's go ahead and get this gate open. for Oh, this door open first of all. Finally going to get to use our fen that we've not actually used just yet. Uh, this Quite a few stuff which I can see we're slowly filling up the shed with our lawn care stuff. We've got some more stuff that needs to be transferred. We're also going to be taking our old skid steer today. If it's not up for the job, we'll ring our boss and ask if we can borrow his. But um, yeah, first of all, let's jump in to the telehandler. Now this thing on the front is uh, pretty heavy, so we're going to have to be a bit... I hope to take the handbrake off. Uh, it's pretty heavy, so we're going to have to be a bit careful here in case we uh, jack the back end up. Now it's... Oh, come on, there we go, we need a bit of four-wheel drive to get at this. So this is obviously going on the big trailer that David's next to, not the back of our pickup truck. We're just going to get it out of the way for a minute so we can get the fence out. Stop it there, get the four-wheel drive off again. Cool. So yeah, that's pretty self-expansion what that bucket's for, but you'll see what we're going to be using it for in a second. Right. Dave, you just stand there and uh, don't help, it's fine. You could have pulled the fence out for us. Alright, so this thing's a bit of a beast. We did actually start up and move it in episode number one, but we didn't do any work with it. We literally just pulled out the shed. So let's get the handbrake off. And she's away. She is so loud. What a beast. So if you don't know, if you missed episode number one, I recommend you go back and watch that. Um, but short story is we only use this thing really for forestry and carting, which is why it's orange and not green. I'll make sure we don't go off the back of the eye for William Shreve. That would be a bit awkward. Let's swing this thing around here. We'll get it attached to the uh, low loader. So this is our bail trailer, but it's also our low loader. We do have a smaller bail trailer as well, though. Right, that should be close enough. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Like so. Oh, wrong button. Now we also need to get the hydraulic hoses on. So we can actually release the brakes on this thing. Cool. Right, let's pull forward a little bit. Car fent. It's not that heavy. Right, let's stop here before we go into the hedge. I think we're pretty close as it is. Right, let's get this thing unfolded. I'm going to leave the fent running so it can warm up. It hasn't been moved for a few weeks, apart from when we uh, moved it a couple of days ago. But that was literally, we drove to like there. So, well, that's now ready to load up the telly hand. Let's go jump back into that. So, the skid steer is going on there. Hopefully the truck can handle it. The pickup truck can handle it. Let's reverse this thing around. The interior light on this thing, as you can see, is a little bit wonky. This is a really, really old teddy handler. It, like I said, it's not ours. It's rented. We got it for dirt cheap. Um, but it's seen better days. I don't think it's actually any good for agricultural work. This is more of a construction one. So it should be good enough for what we need today. I can't actually see what I'm doing either. Right, so after a little bit of minor adjustments, we have uh, finally got the cat up onto here. Um, 
that's as far as we can go. As you can see, we're pretty much touching it as we are. Um, right now, what we need to do is get the skid steer. I'm going to take. I'm going to leave the stump grinder here for now because I don't want to put the extra weight of that on here. In fact, I don't think there's anywhere to secure it anyway because the uh, skid steer is going to take up pretty much 95% of this trailer. Right, let's go ahead and jump. Wait, which one is it? It's the yellow one. Okay, right. Let's jump into it. So it's pretty basic in here. Like I said, if this isn't up for the job, we'll have to get the um, the boss's one if he'll let us borrow it. Right. Let's go ahead and hook this one up real quick. Like so. We've pretty much cleared out this uh, fa this factory, this uh, lockup today. Once again, there is more stuff to arrive at soon. I'm going to go ahead and put this. This is quite heavy, this uh, cutter. So I'm going to put this at the front so it's not... Uh, all the weight's not at the back. Right, slow and steady does this. Come on, up you get. Ooh, a bit wonky. I think we might be on the sides. Uh-oh. I don't think this is going to be road legal. Right, okay. So this is definitely not road legal. But let's hope the police let us off. Because... Um, we're only going up the road. I might have to take it a bit slow. What we had to do is put all our power on. We got to here. We had to put all of our power into it. So that she'd get her wheels up over it. And then she kind of crept on. Like I said, 100% not road legal. But we're going to try it anyway. Alright, David. Which one are you going to take? See, I was going to put David in the Mercedes. But now I'm not sure I trust him. He's not a great driver. So I think I'm going to put David in the... In the Fend. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Right, David. Get into the, uh, the fen. Go over this side. Cool. Get the handbrake off. Right, so... Uh, David just radioed through to me and informed me that I forgot to put the ramp up on the Eiffel Williams trailer. But we've done it now. Not to worry. God, that was close. Then he drove the whole way then with the rape scraping across the ground. But as you can see, he's taken up the majority of the road. Let's go ahead and radio him to tell him to put his... Beacons on, there we go. I've kind of cut this a bit wide, just corner, but he should be able to get his trailer on then. Right, let's make sure we can get through. I'm going to put my hazards on just in case the car comes from another direction in a second. Come on, David. Right, he's slowly coming. He got around the corner fine. I'm going to go ahead and assume he can do the rest himself. I need to remember to tie this. Like I said, I've never actually been this way. So hopefully I can find my way back. I think it's up here. I think. Uh oh, there's a wall there. I do not think David's going to be able to get around there. I'll come wide just for his sake. Because of course he's following my every move. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And wait for him. Once again, I put the hazard lights on. Where is he? Okay, so we've been having some issues here. Uh, David's got a top speed of four miles per hour, which is clearly not right because that's a pretty fast tractor. So I think the issue is the trailer. Now we've made sure the hydraulic hoses are plugged in properly and they are, but I think there might be an issue with the brakes on that thing. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and check that once we get there. He's doing all right now, but up the hills, he's really, really struggling for some reason. Right, make sure we get around here, okay. Don't actually need the hazard lights now because from here on out, this is a private road. But yeah, he's up. So I can uh, trust him. Well, I can leave him now at least. This thing is so quiet compared to the fen. You probably can't even hear it on video, but it is making a noise. It's just very, very quiet. Very relaxing there. Very luxurious. But anyway, we are finally here. That took a lot longer than it was meant to. So we're home. I'm going to go ahead and pull it into our area. So if you guys missed, like I said, episode number one, um, I'll show you what we're doing now. Go ahead and stop this here. Keep it running. So these trees here are getting demolished or taken down. They're pretty tall. So um, we go ahead and do that. Here's David. Um, and we're going to build a shed here, basically. So I'm not sure yet how many trees we have to take down. Definitely one, two, three, four. Possibly five. Um, these ones here we're going to leave, but we might have to cut some branches off. We may have to take them out completely. I haven't really decided just yet. But uh, we'll play it by ear. Right, so first things first, let's go ahead and unload the skid steer. We'll get this trailer put away. And then we'll uh, unload the fen as well. Right. 
Let's go ahead and get it turned on. Let's get the four-wheel drive on. It should already be always on, but still. And we're off. Lift that off the ground. Not that high. I'm going to put you here for a minute. Cool. I'm going to let that warm up. It hasn't been sighted for months, that one, so... I'll leave that to it. Let's go ahead and get this folded away. We can turn four-wheel drive off now. I'm actually going to move this well out of the way so David can get in. We'll just go up here for a second. Handbrake. Turn it off. Right. Let's stop about there. Good boy. Right, so now David is going to try to take the tether handle off. Oh. Okay. Well, that is now off. Let's go ahead and move the fence for him. Let's get that folded back away. Oh, I need to turn the engine on for that. There we go. Get some power to that. And we'll put this one over here. We do need to actually disconnect this thing properly because we're going to be needing this uh, fence in a second. Not just yet, though. Right. So we can finally make a start now. The reason we've got the telehandler, you may be wondering why it's here. You can tell by the bucket we need to get somewhere. And you may be thinking, why have we got this? We're just going to cut it. I don't feel safe cutting this whole tree down when... Uh, well, the farm's just behind this hedge here. Literally just behind it. You can see some of the sheds. My house is there. And we've also got some sheds and stuff here. So we're going to not do it in one go. So let's get the tally handler into position. And uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, Alright, so before we make a start on this, let's go ahead and get our feet unfolded here. For a bit of stabilisation. And now you can see we've got a lot more... St uh, we're still not completely stable, but we're a lot more stable than we were. Alright, let's get this thing up in the air. Actually, Sim, you got... Well, me. i got to put myself in it first. Right, okay, so as you can see, we're up in the tree. Uh, it's quite high up. Uh, we're actually a little bit too close. David put us a little bit too close, but not to worry. Uh, so we want to go ahead and cut it at an angle like this, because we want to go down that way. I know for a fact that's not going to... Oh, it is going to work. Hopefully it doesn't land on the yard. No, we're good. Cool. Let's go ahead and get some of these branches off here. Like so, just so we're not in the way. Right, David, you're up. Right, so we're going to go ahead and down here. And strip this down so we know exactly where it is. And actually, yeah, we were just right on that. Like, it didn't actually go out into the hedge or anything, which is good. Right. Let's continue. Um, am I up there still? Yeah, I am. Right, I need to come down a little bit. Right, so we're a little bit lower down now. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these little uh, shrubby bits here. This chainsaw sounds awful, by the way. <laughs> Does not sound healthy. Sounds like it's uh, revving too high. Right, we're going to go ahead and make another cut here. We're going to do it like that. Hopefully that works. Timber. Probably should have... Uh... Yeah, probably should have uh... got David some safety. Right, what we're going to do is I think that's going to be good enough now. But David, let me down. Right, so now David's done nearly trying to kill me. I'm going to go ahead and get in to the skid steer for a second. Uh, go ahead and get the GoPro on. Right, so we need to get the rest of this tree down. So this is... I'm not sure if we're going to be using this thing too much, to be fair. Let's squeeze past here. Let's get it turned on. Timber! Right, let's get the rest of these shrubs off. So we're good. We have now to cut our first tree down. It should be pretty easy to clean away. This one obviously needs cutting a little bit more. So let's say where's the end of it? There, we want to go to about... Mm, about here, I reckon? Wait for it to go green. About here, I reckon, personally. That should be good. I'm not sure how far this goes into the hedge, but we'll soon find out. We've got a... Um, a skidder over there we can use. Now, do you know I said this skid here may not be good enough? I think that's the case we're getting to here. So, I found that I have to position it and then cut, turn on the blade. I can't turn on the blade and move. But I don't think it's given us enough power to do so, which is a bit annoying. I've deliberately left it this high, by the way, so we can come in later on and uh, 
cut that in a second with the stump grinder. We've got to do another tree now. In fact, if we... Now this tree's gone here. If we can cut it... I'm going to try something. This could end very, very, very badly. Um, right, let's try it. This could end very badly. Okay, so that did not go to plan. Lucky we didn't hurt anything. Let's cover the brushing on the uh, the trailer there, but not too bad. This skid steer is so loud. Let's turn it off a second. It's giving me a headache. Right, let's get this turned off. I'm going to get the shrubs removed off this tree here. Like so. Right, so you guys get the idea what's going on here. We're going to go ahead and finish doing the rest of these trees. I'm not going to bore you too much because we've been doing the same thing like four times. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we've uh, finished cutting it and we'll probably load them up. Here's our trailer, by the way. So this is why we need the defense. You know, there's enough power to do this. So we're going to hopefully load them up into here. I'd say that's about mm, four or five meters, but there's no back to it. So they can come sticking out a little bit. All right, let's get the rest of these cut up and then we'll see if we can uh, load them up. Dave, okay, you can help if you want.
Security Suite are back. It's been a few days in real life. No, not even role-playing. It's been a few days in real life. Um, I forgot how long far she took, but we managed to uh, clear, I think it's about five, six trees altogether. Uh, we've also had the excavator in making this all flat. And uh, this was all, of course, grass banks before. Wasn't it? We've managed to take it back to here. Uh, we still haven't finished. We need to take it back a little bit further. But we have finished with the flash tree finally. So David has uh, been very nice enough to load up the, uh, the fence for us. As you can see, we've, this is our last few trees here. Though this thing's pretty good. I like using this thing. This, of course, is from the Anderson Group. I think that's what they're called, Anderson Group. Oh, there we go. Anderson M160. So uh, this is a new piece of machinery for us. We did get the boss's skid steering. If you guys remember, I said that he had a different one. Here it is. Um, ours did not hold out very well. It kept cutting out and stalling and then just refusing to move when the uh, the blade was on, the saw was on. Um, apart from that, everything's pretty much the same. So yeah, we're good to go, David. I'm going to go ahead and take these down to the sawmill real quick. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Let's jump into the old fent here. Cool. Right, okay, everybody, so we are now uh, at the the sawmill. Uh, so what we need to do first of all is jump onto the back of this thing. Let's get the feet lower down first. So I am using keyboard and mouse for this. I need to get my other side panel out or side deck so um, I can map that out for forestry properly because at the moment we are missing some controls by default, uh, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and... Oh, God. That last one was... <laughs> The one really holding everything in. Alright, we need to get into here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's go ahead and put them back down. Switch to the boom. Now, we do have to leave the tractor running so we can uh, have hydraulic power going to this, of course. Right, let me just familiarize myself with the controls again. Right, let's go ahead and open this. Now, hopefully I don't make too much of a mess of this. In fact, what I'm going to do is lift it up. Flex it down like so. Cool. Uh, we've got our first two. Or was a third? Oh, it was two. I thought there was a third one trying to sneak its way up then. Oh, careful. Careful. A little bit jolty, this thing. And we don't have to place them. What we're going to do is just drop them. There we go. There's our first dude gone. So this thing... Uh, I'm a bit rusty with the forestry. Let's be honest. I'm a bit rusty. Not as bad as I was rusty with the uh, the baler the other day. The, no, sorry. The wind roll the other day. That was a bit... Awkward. Sorry about putting you guys through watching that. That must have been very bad to watch. The uh, single row uh, win row. But, like I said, I'm not used to it. Why are these stuck? Right, let's go ahead and lower them down as well. So we don't have to place them anywhere neat. They're, of course, getting sold off straight away. So I'm just going to drop them into the pile, basically. Oh, hang on. Let's move that over a little bit like that. Nope. Missed that completely, Sim. Well done, sir. Yes. We've got another two there. Right. I always feel like the... um. Well, let's rotate that around in case we hit ourselves. Oh, we need to kill ourselves. Right, let's drop them down there like that. Right, final two. We've got... Oh, no, there's actually three branches there. Or three logs here, if you guys can see that. Right, I need to go about there. So, oh, I was trying to avoid that, but we hit it anyway. I need to go over a little bit. Right. Let's grab... Oh, we lost one. That's probably out the trigger. Wow, really? Is that all we managed to pick up from that? Right, let's go ahead and just drop that down there real quick. What I'm going to try and do... These are the heavy two. That's why they're at the bottom. This is basically the base of the two... Uh, this is the base of two trees, in fact. We managed to get two trees onto this trailer. So these are the heaviest parts. So we might have to do one at a time. But what I am going to try and do is get them from the... No, nah, it's not going to work. That ain't going to work at all. Right, let me just... Yes, there we go. Just drop that down like that. This might be too heavy for us. Oh, actually, we're doing alright. No, it's too heavy. We're going to have to do one at a time. Which we've got one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right. Wow, this really is too heavy. Okay, we've got the... Yeah, there was the the base of the tree is a bit too heavy for two, so we're going to have to do one at a time. Drop that down like that. Oh, hang on, let's move that over. Nope, what we're going to do... Yes. 
be a little bit jolty with the keyboard and mouse. As you guys know, if you've been subscribed for a while, I'm so used to doing this with a uh, joystick, but all my controls have unmapped themselves, so... Never mind, we've got the last one going here. Let's see how much money we get for this. I nearly killed myself then. Right. Excuse me. Let's go over here and see how much we get. So what we got, number one, three, three, seven, sixty. 6,934. Not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. This might have been a very short episode. This thing not going to plan at all. I was trying to put the shed down today. Um, but we've had a delay with the actual order. So it's not ready just yet. But hopefully the next video will be ready for that. But we do need to start our actual farm work soon. That's another thing. Um, in fact, how does this thing go back to how it was? I can't remember. Uh, let's do that. No. Well, you... There we go. It's this control. Let's go ahead and plop you into there like that for a minute. Pretty sure that's not how you go. Never mind. Right, now finally, let's get the feet lifted up like so. Handbrake off. And we're good to go. So thank you very much for joining me in this episode. Once again, it might have been a little bit short, but it's a little bit forestry. A little bit of uh, extra work we had to do on the farm before we start farming. But thank you very much for joining me. I've been Simulate Gaming. If you did enjoy it, please up a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, a bit wobbly.